I'm Shannon. Or you can call me Dr. Shannon. Doctor of what, you ask? Of the mystifying world of science. And this is my lab assistant, Gary. That'll be all, Gary. That'll be all, Gary. Shoo. In case you haven't guessed it by my very important and scientific lab coat. <laughs> I don't know how that got there. But today's hacks are scientific snacks. After hours of hacking and snacking, I feel completely qualified to present my first scientific hack, my U-Rock candy. For this, you'll need sugar, food coloring, water, clothespins, skewers, a glass jar, plastic wrap, and a pan. Wet your skewers and dip them in sugar and set them aside. Get a parent or a lab assistant skeleton named Gary to help you with this next part. Pour the water into the pan and bring it to a boil. Start adding your sugar one cup at a time and stir. Do this until all the sugar has dissolved. Remove it from the heat. Now add some food coloring. Gary picked blue. Once the mixture has cooled for 10 minutes, pour it into the jar. Now put your skewer in the jar and use your clothespin to hold it in place, like this. Cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit for a few days. Now let the process of evaporation get to work. I guess I fell asleep for a few days. Well, science sleeps for no shan. While I was sleeping, the water molecules were traveling up the stick and into the air in the process of evaporation. As the water traveled up the stick, it left sugar behind, causing it to form crystals, leaving us with this. Look alive, Gary. I think it's time to move on to my next hack. Let's take a look at a crystal geo. This was once just a rock with water trapped inside, but just like our rock candy, that water evaporated and formed these awesome crystals. But these took millions of years to form. And to be honest, who has millions of years to wait? That's why we're gonna hack my crazy crystal geodes. Yippee! For this you'll need sugar sprinkles, white and black fondant, a rolling pin, a circle cookie cutter, and some water. Roll out some white fondant. Make sure it's really thin. Now cut out a circle and put it aside. Mix some black and white fondant together so it looks like gray marble. Now roll it out like you did with the white. Then cut out another circle. Use some water to stick these together. Now put water on the white side and pour sugar sprinkles on top. Shake off the excess. Shape it to look like a rock geode, just like this. Now turn it upside down and let it harden in place. I wonder if the crystal candy geodes taste better than the regular geodes. Gary, I'll try the candy one and you'll try this real one. Classic Gary. But enough about him, it's time for my final hack. This one is for the scientists on the go. It's time to make my instant ice cream. For this, you'll need milk, sugar, vanilla extract, rock salt, crushed ice, 
and a one gallon size and one sandwich size Ziploc bag. Put the salt and crushed ice in the gallon size bag, then set aside. Put your milk, sugar, and vanilla in the sandwich size bag. Zip and mix it all up. Once mixed, put it inside the gallon bag of ice and rock salt. Seal it tight. Now, shake it. Do this for about five to 10 minutes until it's hard. Feel the burn. <sighs> Look at that. It's just like the ice cream you buy from the store, only in an instant. Now I bet you wanna know why this happened. It happened because of freezing point depression. We've got to get this liquid to start freezing and to do that, we have to lower its temperature past its freezing point. How you may ask? By adding salt to the ice. Salt makes ice even colder, if you can imagine that. And colder ice makes an environment so cold, it can actually turn liquid cream into ice cream. You know what they say, the science is in the snack hacks. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Not a real doctor. Hey, not cool. <laughs> also not a doctor. <laughs> Look who's not a doctor now. <clears throat> Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and let Gary and I know in the comments below what your favorite science hack is. Go on.